Now this is a personal service announcement, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. If you call me 10 times in a row, it's not going to make me answer the phone any quicker. I've seen your phone call the first time. I saw it the second time. At the third time, I thought you were a nuisance. At the fourth time, I thought, ah, Olori Buruku. At the fifth time, I thought, surely, there must be something wrong with you. There must be somebody dying on the sixth time. On the seventh time, I'm sure that, ah, uh, ah, uh, this one, eh, they've sent you from your village. On the eighth time, I'm now dancing to the ringtone. Not that I even started dancing late time because all that while I'm looking at the phone and I'm thinking, do you realize that I've actually seen your call? I know you're calling. I didn't pick up the first time for a reason. When you call the second time, I'm still doing what I'm doing. And even if I'm not, it is my phone. I can call you back anytime I want to call you. Why must I answer you when you call me? Sometimes I just want to play music with my ringtone. Sometimes I see it and I feel like what you're calling for is not what a conversation. You know what I'm going to introduce to you on this vlog today? Voice notes. I just started doing it and I think it's perfect. Why don't we cultivate the habit of sending people voice notes? It's quick, it limits time wasting and you get straight to the point. Capish? And guess what? It's free. As long as you have data, you can send a voice note. Why must you call people over and over and over and over and over again? Voice notes help you limit awkward conversations. I.e., this is how it goes. Hey babe, how are you? Quick one. I was just wondering if I could... Okay, chat to you soon. Bye. Boom. They've gotten the message and they can also respond to you when they are less busy. Why do we torture ourselves with the, hey, hey, what's up now? Nothing much. How are you doing? Fine. What's up now? How are you doing? What's the difference? I've just continued. Eh? Hey, what are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just working. So what's up now? You've asked the second time. The first time, they told you nothing much, right? You're asking the second time. Why can't you just go straight to the point? You know you have not called this person in like three months. You know you don't really care about what's up in their life. You know that you're not really all about this little conversation you're trying to have right now. But because you don't want them to feel bad that you're about to use them, you now feel the need to wet the floor with all this ceremony. What's up now? How are you doing now? What's going on now? What are you doing now? Where are you now? How are you doing now? What's up now? How are you? What's up like six times? Are you crazy? Just send a voice note. That way it's like, hey babe, I haven't spoken to you in a while. I hope you're keeping well, everything good. By the way, this and that and that and that and that. Please hit me back when you have a moment. It works like magic. I honestly started doing it and my life has changed. I don't stay on the phone. I don't answer postponed call. I limit the access they have to me because guess what? I can easily just send the voice notes, right? If I've called you first time, you didn't pick. Okay, maybe I'll give it a bit of time. Give you another phone call. You didn't pick. I'm never calling you back. Two calls is a good number. Maximum limit that you should call anybody. Honestly, when you're not a thief, did you buy them the phone? Are they owing you money? Come on, if you call someone the first time and it rings out and they didn't pick up, you do know the phone has the caption that says missed call, right? You do know the person can see that you try to reach them, right? Even if they're not by their phone, when they come back, they will clearly see. Why do you like to give people hypertension for nothing? You just see 10 missed calls. I get anxiety. Why are you calling me 10 times? Why? What did I steal from you? What did I promise you? That you cannot say in a text message. After two calls, the next level should be text message. If you don't hear anything back, leave it. They will get back to you when they're ready. You can't force people to speak to you. It's bad etiquette, okay? I've said it several times on the vlog. Now I'm now teaching you another means. Please send voice notes instead. If you call someone, me, Seth, one time, if I call you one time and you didn't pick, I'll just send you a voice note if I have you on my WhatsApp. Just send a voice note and say everything you need. If they get back to you, then they want to talk to you. If they don't, then it's not really meant to happen, guys. So resist the urge to let the devil use you. Resist it. You would sound desperate. You look desperate. You give up desperate vibes. And nobody wants desperate people around them, okay? Stop wounding people with telephone. Some of us have our uh, ringers on silence for a reason. Because some of you guys don't have any manners. Zero manners. And then they'll not all those people that I like to watch online status. If I'm online, come come and beat me in my house. So what? Did you buy my phone for me? Please, so let's be respecting ourselves. If I'm online, I don't feel like talking to you. When I am ready, I will come to you. And you shouldn't be offended because guess what? 
People are going through deep stuff. People are going through shit. The last thing on their mind is the fact that someone's trying to reach them on the phone. They can always call you back. And on that note, I'll chat with you guys on the next episode of Talking Moments. Be good. Goodbye.